It looks good. Yeah, I reckon it'd be pretty yummy. It will be. And there's here, she used up all of the cherry jelly. Cream goes on now. We turn up at this bit. We will whack it into place and yeah. cover it with a bit of chocolate bit, ganache. Bit of chocolate ganache. Chocolate ganache is quite a thick chocolate sauce. <laughs> it gets poured all over the top of it. A bit more cream. I don't think you're going to have enough cream. Oh no, chocolate goes over the top of this one, doesn't it? Yeah. Cream. Certainly not for those that are on a diet. No. This cake's for a birthday for a special lady. So we have put a lot of effort into it. Just want you fellas to know that we um this is our first time. First time at what? You're making this cake. It is too. We're going to put some cherries on it, dot, dot them around. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve cherries. Yeah, I think that's about right. That's about right. Now we're going wow. to put the final layer on. Here it goes. This you should have put really a cherry in the middle. Nice. Well, there probably is actually. I would have put it upside down so that the cream softened the. Um, but you're going to put chocolate that on it anyway. That chocolate ganache needs to mm. soak into something. I think. And that hole is not actually a mistake. We we made that so that the candle can go in it. Because we've got a nice big fat church candle. Maybe, yep. Look at that. Looking good. Looking quite awesome actually. Now we have to pour. What's it called? Chocolate ganache. It's chocolate ganache, which is a, like I said, a thick chocolate sauce. In our case, it's probably not quite <coughs> as thick as it should be, but... I think it'll set in the fridge though, won't it? Well, hopefully, if we can stay on the cake long enough. <laughs> yeah. The cake's fairly level though, so it's not going to slide off it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're so funny. Oh, look at that. I really don't know how to do this kind of thing. Maybe we just pour. I don't know. Just pour it. And then just try to spread mm. it out of that hole a little. Yeah. Looks good. Now once again, this is a black forest cake. We've got to get it on the sides, don't we? You've got a spray yeah. painting tool. <laughs> <laughs> don't know how to do this onto the sides. Well, I think probably if you just tipped it around there and let it run down and just you don't have well, to have it's it starting to do a bit of that drizzle yeah. thing isn't it and just let it run down and give it a natural look instead of trying to spread it around mm. well i'm a bit afraid it's going to run off the plate and onto the bench oh yes well, quick maybe i have to tip my plate up <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I freeze the cake, maybe the chocolate will stay on the cake. It would do, yes. Because right now it's flowing over the other side. Oh, is it? <laughs> yes. You just need to spread it around. Mm. The top looks awesome. I think probably if you... Just, yeah, I think we've got to mould it with our mm. hands. Yeah. certainly isn't working for me over this side. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should have used a bigger serving plate as well. Mm. This, this chocolate ganache isn't really doing it, is it? No, but it looks nice. That looks really good. It's got a, an effect, like a marbling effect. Well, yeah, I guess you're kind of right about that. What's yeah. What else going on over here? Yep. Yeah. This is not a traditional black forest cake. It's a unique one. 